So, good morning. It is. I always do this. I always say it is, but I actually have no idea what the day is, what the time is, nothing. You, um, you get the point. Anyways, today is the day I'm going violin shopping now in Tampa because I now realize that the other location is closed. I don't know if I ever explained what happened then, but yeah, I was supposed to go Friday and we found out that the location that is close to us where we look at instruments is indefinitely closed due to surprise circumstances, which was shocking since I've just been talking to them. But yeah, we're going today, and then, yeah, so I might have to go straight from there to work, so I'm going to pack up my work stuff, um, grab a few of my music stuff, because I'm literally going to be practicing in the car, like, doing fingering and stuff, because, you know... I think if I have time, I'm gonna start reading all my rage. I just finished Milk and Honey by Ruby Card. I think is how you pronounce it. I really should know though, so give me a minute. I don't know how you spell it. But yeah, I just finished this. I would really recommend. It's really good. I would definitely say you should be like. It does go over some like adultish topics, so probably be like 17 or 18 if you're going to read it. But yeah, it's really good. So. Part of me really wants to reread The Secret History by Donna Tartt because that was one of my last and most like intense reads that I've had in a while and I literally loved that book. But I think I'm going to try and read a new book. But let's see, I have my violin music, me, books, computer work stuff. Okay, let's hope that's it.
Hi, baby. He's sleepy. I just got home from work. I have to eat dinner in a minute, but I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, she's so heavy. This is my child. I'm so excited. I can't wait to start playing and stuff, but I'm gonna have to wait um, until I eat because that's a bad idea. It is time. Also, real quick, funny though, I had to like clean off my like clean off my bed and get some stuff organized in my room before I could start this. And I um, was like procrastinating, and then I put on my solo, and I was like, because it's like classical music and it's a really fast piece. And I was like, I have to just get as much as I can done within the span of this piece. It wasn't even like a minute in and I had everything I needed to do done. So I'm gonna do that more often. But hold on, let me close it so I can show you. This is her. Um, actually, I invested in the case personally. This is a hard shell case and it's like waterproof too. And I was like, if I'm going to college soon, which I am, and like I'm gonna be taking her on trips, all this other stuff, we need a good case. And then this music, holder is actually removable which I think for right now I am going to remove it just because I'm not going to be using it at the moment I might put her back on for tomorrow's lesson I don't know but for the moment she's coming off let's get this off okay beautiful so there's that okay I'm so excited okay there's that get her open I can't believe I just said that please actually just fire me now anyways so we have on. you can tell that like it's new just based on that the, like velcro this is her front back I literally love her so much it just feels right um, she was, she's appearing a bit more, not as bad in this video, but I sent a video to my friend before I recorded this, and she was looking a bit more orange than she actually is, but yeah, I'm so happy. Um, this is the violin. I have to, I still have to figure out a name. I'm going to wait until I play a bit more, because like with Hubert, I kind of, I had several names going around in my head. I waited until I played, but I did decide on the first day. I really want to be able to do that too. And then this is the bow I got. So this one is actually very old. Like it's an older bow that they've had for a little while. Well, actually they've only had it. Yeah, they've only had it for like a couple months or so. And they wanted to get it rehaired. Um, Cause it has, a, it's a little bit like worn, but just barely any, pretty much like a normal bow. So we're going to just use it as much as I can. And probably right before I go to college, I'll get, it rehaired but yeah this is the bow i got it's actually there's one part that's really cool that i want to try and show you hold on let me see yeah gotta flip the camera so the bow is actually stamped it's kind of hard to read what it says like even i can't read but yeah it's an old german bow and you can like you can see like the character on it but it just felt right with for me and for this violin so i'm really excited that's enough talking right now. I just need to start playing.
I can literally not express like just how happy this makes me like mm, I love her we have a name her name is Carmen so if you've ever heard the song Carmen by Lana Del Rey and if you haven't you should listen to it that's kind of the inspiration for this name I've actually <laughs> I played that song like five times um, I actually want to learn it really well so it can just be one of the songs because obviously it's pretty but yeah I spent like 20 because I've been playing for like an hour and a half now but I spent 20 minutes or so just trying to think of the name because I don't know I feel like I don't say all real musicians but like most mus musicians always name their instruments and obviously that was very important to me and I was trying to figure out something that fit because when I got Hubert I was I want to say I was 12 and it fit at that time like that was what I needed it was based off of a character or mm, yeah I don't know it's based off this character from um, a book that I had read and it was perfect well now obviously I was like playing for a little bit I was listening to the tone what it made me think of because I'm a vis very visual person when it comes to music so when I hear music I start envisioning what it makes me think of and that's how I got to this name. So yeah, and shout out to Caitlin for helping me think of name. Well, on honestly, shout out to Caitlin for letting me blabber to her about names because that's what made me think of it. So, but yeah, I'm so happy. Um, but I finally need to put her down because it's like 10 something. And if I keep playing, I just won't be able to go to sleep tonight. And I still have to make the vlogmas that I have to post today. Um, so we're going to get a head on that. I also want to film another video tonight. Oh yeah, then like before we left the shop, um, the blow person like oiled the, um, screw and everything like i love the violin shop And I can lock the case, which I'm not going to do right now because I feel like I'll lose the key because I did actually lose the key to my first violin case. I have two keys though, so what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll keep one in like this outside folder part that I'll probably reattach and I'll keep another one probably on a chain that I'll just like wear all the time, pretend it's jewelry. Yeah, I'll probably do that, but we'll see. Okay, so I got the comfy editing setup, and by that I literally just mean I'm using my Christmas blanket that I got from Aldi's.